Hey guys, this is Belinda with the Southern Scribe, and I've got a journal I'd like to share with you. This one I call Ruby Gale, and um, it has 78 pages, I believe, and tons of tag and ephemera. It's a cloth covered book that measures uh, five by seven and a quarter. Uh, it has two signatures that are sewn in right here. And this fabric is heavily coffee stained. Just to give you some idea, it was white when I started. Um, <clears throat> let's take this off. It has a sorry um, ribbon closure. And on the front, there's one of the Tim Holtz paper doll girls with a butterfly and some buttons. Paper background. There's a rose. This is a door lock and it says, today is full of possibilities. And I made some sorry ribbon little blooms there and put it on some ribbon that has leaves uh, on the inside there's a pocket that has it's a fabric pocket that's ticking and it has a stamp and some lace and there's a rose paper tag that my husband makes for me handmade paper and here's one with some heather in it and I wrote on this one, this is a little verse that I kind of created and I may start adding this in all of my journals, I'm not sure. But it says, my dear, never suffer the expectations of another. Dream your own dreams, dare to dream in color. And I put my initials BC, since it's my little quote. All right, on this page, there's a bird on some uh, colored, background and this is actually the back side of an old quilt you know you have the usually have the color blocks and the back side will be one solid color well this one was off-white and this was a piece of quilting that I cut out and I believe the quilt is from 1940 maybe a little earlier I stamped a leaf on it and some script stamping sewed around it and it's pinned on with a rusty uh, safety pin all of the safety pins and paper clips in this one are rusted and um, there's paper on the back for writing. Lace trim on a lot of the pages. And this is a decoupage little girl with a bird's nest tag there. And this is actually something kind of new for me. I am taking a class from Faded West on um, Etsy and it's in sort of impressionistic painting. It's a class that is, um, painting uh, roses on linen. So this is a piece of linen and it's my first attempt, you know, at a bloom. I, I haven't even watched all of the video series, um, but she's very easy to follow and so far I'm really enjoying it. And this is coffee stain inked paper uh, with some stamping and script stamp. And these two little girls are Tim Holtz paper dolls and they are a tuck spot for this tag here and this is some watercolor over modeling paste there with script stamping and some more printed paper this paper is from Hapa Chic on Etsy Hapa Chic Hapa Chic and I'm not sure uh, which set this is I'll have to go back and look I'll try to remember to put it down below but there's some lace right there and this is Tim Holtz ephemera it's a railway station ticket on um, with some watercolor colors coming through from where I actually coffee stained this paper and I loved this look with some script stamping there and this is another piece of the old quilt with some stamping on it it looks like a wreath stamped, wreath stamped on there and you can see where the red block met this one I just cut it and there's paper on the back of all of these script stamp page another little girl with a circus ticket that can just tuck right behind her of course you can put whatever you want to this is some pink lace here fabric that i got from my friend hope amen a-m-e-n and she has um she's on junk journal junkies boutique on facebook and just search her name and there's all kinds of goodies that will come up she's very reasonable in price and there's some stamping more watercolor colors and this is like a brown craft paper and there's another one of the impressionistic blooms there with stamping more stamping over here it's like a nature stamp more paper with lace lots of lace in this one pretty paper 
two more little girls with a little piece of ephemera that looks like sheet music on back. I just coffee stained it up and it slips right behind them there. And there's some more stamping on the paper and this is a little piece of ephemera and here's the center of the signature. Script stamping and um, botanical stamping on these papers with lace trim. That's a feather. I love the purple and pink hues in this paper. Um, this is a little tag tucked behind two little girls here. Another back piece of the quilt with a bird and script stamping on it. And again, there's paper on back. You can see the sewing on this page that's from a die cut negative on this side. And stamping. More of that beautiful fabric. And there is another one of those uh, flower blooms that I painted there that's just pinned on with a rusty uh, safety pin and a botanical stamp and this is a card that I coffee grunged up and um, more colors coming through that look like watercolor on the back side of this paper a pretty Victorian lady with some white lace more modeling paste and watercolor over here this is a great area for journaling it's just got some stamping and of course you can you know write over all of this and there's another piece of the quilt that was the front side and that has a bird's nest with an egg in it <coughs> excuse me it's kind of hard to see on the video but you can see it when you're looking at the book because the background colors are so dark and rich and i don't know what kind of fabric that is but i loved it very vintage and this is the end of the first signature the beginning of the second so i just made a little spread here with some craft paper sewn around the edge and some crocheted lace remnants just stitch the top with two die cut negatives there and this is a larger tag pinned on that looks like a ticking on the back there and another one of those blooms that i painted there and more backing from the old quilt and that has the bird's nest uh, stamp on it there these two little boys tuck away a bingo card and more watercolor vibrant purples and fuchsias in that one another pretty lady there and on the back side of her <clears throat> is an envelope that i um grunged up and there's a stamp that i stamped over and some washi tape that is the parcel post there and you just undo it and on the inside I have just a large sheet of paper for extra journaling just goes back in there and this is one of those envelopes that you just wrap tuck it back in there okay and over on this page is let me raise that up so you can see another bloom that I printed there and um, painted excuse me and this is some more of the quilt fabric with uh, script stamping and eggs stamped on top pinned to a pretty page with blue hues and there's some more botanical stamping a <clears throat> die cut negative on this page and a little set of children and this is a receipt ticket stuck there more botanical stamping pretty paper <laughs> excuse me there's a larger card there that I've grunged up with music notes on it for journaling and this is the center of the last signature it's got botanical stamping and this pretty lady right here um, she lifts up and you can write on the back of her on the back of the ticket there more space for journaling lots more more lace still and that's such a lovely page there. This is a piece of ephemera that I coffee stained and pinned to this page. Some more in this, I believe this is the maybe the last, there may be one more of the blooms that are painted on linen there and just pinned to the page for decoration. And there's some more botanical stamping, more of the quilt with a bird stamped on this piece. And a little uh, script stamping, I believe and some crocheted lace there over this pretty page with blues and pinks and these two little girls hold a large tag that is stamped and coffee stained there and let's see oh this is my um butterfly book page butterfly 
And this page is uh, journaling with a botanical stamp, sewing on the edge. Here's the lady to hold the lace in place over here. I think this is the last of the watercolor in the book. And botanical stamping. And this is the stamp about writing love letters that I put in the very beginning of the watercolor book last time. And it's done on the <clears throat> eggshell color fabric that was um, on the back of the quilt. And there's paper for writing. And these spots that are on some of the um, quilting fabric, that's actually, I used wood glue to bind those because I wanted it to seep through. This wood glue dries with the yellow tint. I just thought it added to the vintage look. I have some wood glue that you can get from Harbor Freight that dries clear, but this is the wood glue that I used when I want it to be yellow under there through that, like that. This is a woman and a child and they hold a little round tag that has um, bird eggs on it and more botanical stamping there. And then here's the last page with lots of yummy gesso on it. And here's another handmade paper rose tag. And on this one are two of those uh, blooms that I painted on linen. I just sewed it onto the tag there. And the pocket is the same as the front cover. It's um, just stamped with script stamping. It's ticking fabric and lace there. And I left the back plain. So I'm going to post this on my Facebook page with information. Um, Ruby Gale is for sale. If anybody's interested, um, you know, please just let me know. And um, then I'll follow with posting it on my YouTube channel. But thank you so much for your time and have a good day. Bye-bye.